Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really interesting video. I am gonna show you how I organize my life using Asana and the other tools that I have. And I'm gonna show you how I stay organized, how I get good grades staying organized, how do I complete all the stuff I need to do. My brain is very messy and so I need a place to put all that stuff to make sure I get things done, period. <laughs> Let's just go straight into it so this is my forewarning i am very messy in the brain so i like literally everything to be organized i'm not a big time blocker person i get too stressed out by ha having everything time blocked so i don't do that if that's what you're trying to look for but if you're looking for an easier way make sure you get everything done and you can see everything laid out i do mine digitally i have found that that is literally the best way to do it and what's cool about the platform that i use is that you can separate everything by project and within those projects I have different sections of my life. So I'm gonna show you how I do that on Asana today. So I have my laptop right here. This is my Asana. I literally have all of my stuff organized on here. I have my classes and everything. So I don't know what's too personal. I don't think anything on here can get me exposed. It's just videos that I have planned for the future. And if you guys are looking, snooping for what I'm gonna do in the future, there you go. Go ahead, have it. It's not that interesting. I'm doing all popular videos, so. First, we're gonna get into how I organize my classes. Okay, so on your home screen and on Asana, you have it, your task to do soon and your recent projects. So here I have all these projects. In here, I have my classes. So the first class I have right here is accounting. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of sections. So how I did this was I took the time, it took me about two hours and you know, I'm definitely a productive procrastinator. So that's what I did, two hours procrastinating something. So I started off on the board, which is the easiest way to do this literally because you just grab your sections. So I just sectioned my homework. Accounting has the most work for me right now. I did this one first. We have DQs, blended learning assignments, assignments, practice problems, quizzes, and benchmarks. So then I just went in and individually put every single one in and make sure to put yourself assigned. Like right here, I have assignee, Molly Leva, and then I have a date. So those two things are really important so that it shows up on your My Tasks calendar and you can see everything in the end. So you just go ahead and put your projects in and you do all of these. So I have that for operations management. I also put in here when I have the class, just so it's easier to, for me to remember. Now that I have all this planned out section, what happens is it automatically makes it into a calendar, which is my favorite part. So I just check this class, chapter four homework due, and I did that this weekend, so I just check it off. You literally just run your mouse over it and you can check it off. And amazing, perfect satisfaction for this class i have my blended learning assignments and then literally it already automatically comes up you just write the task then I, i'll do blended learning week four and week four and then i just assign this to me and then i put in a due date and i know those are due on friday so that in and then the due time is perfect too because it gives you reminders and then there we go friday at 11 59 then we pull up the calendar and you can see right here blend learning and it comes up perfect literally i have not found any other better organization than this i have tried notion i've tried Tr trello i've tried literally all of those but they don't have the ease of transferring to the calendar so that's for my classes and then i have them in different colors so here you can see i have um, operations management pink accounting and orange business and these are actually really close but i can usually tell which maybe we should we at gc we have this thing called loud cloud it keeps all your assignments on there and it has the same exact like calendar format except i can check it off on here so if you go here to gcu i literally just put my loud cloud calendar up with all my classes and i put these in except you see i have one of my teachers put all of our blending and learning assignments in a word document and also an excel sheet those are different teachers so i had to put that in myself which is just like why this has been really helpful for me because i have had such a hard time staying consistent on youtube and this literally changed my life so here i have a youtube film and at first i started off with just doing one youtube project and then 
I had to like manually put in like, oh, I'm gonna edit this, I'm gonna upload this, blah, 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 this and that. And that was cool for about a week until I couldn't tell what when I needed to edit and when I needed to upload. So what I did, I made three different projects, YouTube film, YouTube edit, and YouTube upload. And so now I just put each video into each of the different projects and then I, they all have different dates. So, so here I have today, film, how I organize my school, blah, blah, blah. And then that's in green. And then on edit right here, I have how I organize my school and that's on Tuesday. And then upload here, I have upload on Thursday. So my transfer time is pretty fast. I try to stay at least a week ahead, but right now it's not working out like that, but I am filming a whole bunch of videos at the same time. So that will probably help. I also see that I have 15%. So we're gonna hurry this up. Now I go back to my tasks and I go to my calendar. And as you can see, I have YouTube film green, YouTube edit purple, bluish and YouTube upload blue so now everything that are these green I know I have to fill and I literally always check this so I always know the day before or two days before when I need to be filming stuff I have been also keeping track of my workouts which have been really helpful because in the future I can look at all of ones that I've done before like as you can see here on my workouts projects and then I did arms today which was killer follow me on my instagram if you know what i do for my if you want to know what i do for my workouts and then um and then here i just put in the calendar because we have to sign up for reservations i know most schools i feel like are like that if they're in person you have to sign up for the gym and so i literally always forget when my gym is and then i get suspended for two days and i can't go to the gym for two days because I missed my appointment. So lastly, I have Instagram content and TikTok content. These two, okay, I literally just got TikTok yesterday, the day before I'm filming this, so that would be on a Saturday. So definitely go check out my TikTok. I'm trying to like grow on there, you know, do my thing, but I don't have anything on here yet because I don't really know what type of content I want to put on there yet. So here you can see I need to take Instagram pictures of my fit today because I am doing a what I wear in a week for that is all for my asana and i'm very excited about all of this you know um yeah so right now what i've been doing for my to-do list which i want to show you guys right here is i have been doing these sticky notes these are just like um tasks that are due in the future that i need to get done soon so so you just pull up a sticky note and it usually comes up yellow and you just change the color right here and i like my gray so it matches the aesthetic you know and then i just i downloaded some fonts and you could literally download fonts anywhere you just google it but the ones i love is I, the ones i use in my videos all the time is able fat face that's like my thing um that's like my stuff i know mogena is really really popular so yeah see this one's really popular on youtube and stuff like that and i just used this one and i used love in the summer which is this one and it's just like this cursive like very whimsical but you can still kind of read it which is like important and if you're wondering where this background is from yes i did make it and it is up on my website for free to download for your laptop and for your phone so definitely go check that out I have a website where i have all of the stuff that i've made and you can go and check that out the other way i have been organizing my life planning out on my on my ipad as you can see right here i have it on my widgets and i just have spotify my sub count and the um widget for asana and if i go in here and i just click off the rest of these and it'll do a little congratulations thing and then i come back out and then my asana turns green which means that you have done all your tasks for the day and it's so rewarding let me tell you the other way that i have been organizing my life basically is on good notes this is where i put the rest of my stuff stuff i literally have my okay don't look at this so this is how i organize on my good notes all of my notes i do all of my notes digital but i write them down on my ipad using good notes so i still have that by hand feel my wrists always like i have really weak wrists from cheerleading and stuff so my wrist always hurts so bad when i write on paper and i get so tired so i have good notes and good notes i can actually access on my laptop too so if i decide one day i want to type i can also do that right now i only have two classes on here because they're more math classes and that's what i actually have to write so spring 2021 i just make a folder and all i'm gonna do is drag these two classes into here and that's how i organize my stuff so 
I have accounting 240 and management 455. Those are both math classes, which operations management, I did not know was going to be math class. And I'm so overwhelmed and tired of it. I, it's so much. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm doing standard deviations and stuff like that. In high school, when they tell you you don't use standard deviations in your life, that's a lie. You use them in college. Anyways, um, and then this is just, you know, casual accounting stuff. Anyways, other than good notes, um, I don't have cute notes or anything. My brain does not work like that. It actually stresses me out more when it looks organized and when it looks messy that's all i have left and that is and anything else that i would do like if one day i feel like really stressed out i actually write write it down sometimes so i have this weekly planner that i haven't used recently but i was using before target but i got it before i got found out about asana so that has completely replaced all of my written planners and it has been way more helpful than my written planners another thing i wanted to show you guys real quick was how i use my old planner so I actually bought the Emma Chamberlain planner and because I am no longer using the paper planner I feel bad and I feel like I should really use it because it was like $25 I really I knew I didn't need it. So this is how I've been using it. Um, if you don't know, Emma Chamberlain has a planner and it is very cute. It's very bulky and not ideal for me. But it does have all these cool like prompts and stuff for you to do. So I drew what I look like on August 28th. I'm into the second month of the planner already. It's like a write in whatever month kind of planner. So here is the crossword puzzle and the bucket list stuff. Uh, instead of been using this as a planner, I've been using it as a short journal. You can see here, I write in it. I feel like it's easier for me to like just jot down things that real quick that happened in my day and it gives a little time to like reflect and relax a little bit but it's not like super long where it feels draining so I just write in the day and the week and then I just write down a couple this fits, fits like four or five sentences and I just write down what happened and then I'm like can look it back on this and I can keep it and be like wow that was a good time in my life <laughs> because I have some I don't know I think I was I started journaling a while ago and I have a journal where it was a really sad time in my life and I really don't like reading that journal because it makes me sad um a couple things I want to plug real quick go check out my depop I'm selling some things go check out my Instagram I post every day on my stories so you can definitely respond to my stories and I will respond back to you I respond to every comment too so i respond to everything i love you guys so much you guys are very supportive to me and my dreams of becoming a youtube star Ugh. why did i say that that is so cringy I, you didn't hear that from me sub to the channel turn that post notification so you know every time i post a video i'll see you guys in the next one bye oh follow me on tiktok Text me when you get here.